Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we'll be doing some arithmetic operations. Today we're focusing on the topic of decimals. Let's begin with a summary of what decimals really are and how could we potentially solve these decimal questions. So, decimals like fractions are a way of describing non-whole numbers. In the case of decimals, numbers are written just like whole numbers but with values that are in the tenths, hundreds and so on. An example is 1.56. The 1 is in the 1's place, the 5 is in the 10's place, and the 6 is in the 100's place. When solving arithmetic operation using decimals, it is important to note the position of the decimal point. Okay, so let's drop the example better to visualize what it means by having values in the 10's, 100's, and so on. In the example they gave us, 1.56, 1 is in the 1's, 5 is in the 10's, and 6 is in the hundreds. So, for example, if we had another number after 6, let's say 3, so it becomes 1.563, then that would be in the thousands. Another thing to note when we solve decimal point questions is that when you add or subtract with numbers that are in the def decimals, you have to line up the dots. This is very crucial as if you completely mess up your answer by not doing so. Here, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're minusing 1.382 by 0 0.24. While we may be tempted to align it like this, 1.382 and 0 0.24, this is wrong. All we actually have to do is 1.382 and then align the dots together. As you can see, the dots are in the same place. Now we can quickly do this subtraction. 2 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 minus 0 is 0, which is 1. So therefore the answer is 1.142. Another thing to note when we work with decimal point questions is that if you multiply or divide, this will move your decimal point to the left or the right, depending on your question. I'll give you a quick multiplication question as an example of this. So let's say you are timesing 0.04 with 0.2. This would actually be 0.04 times 0.2. You don't actually have to align multiplication because what happens is firstly we do the maths which is 4 times 4 which is 8 and now we know that there are two points in this and one point in that. So that means it moves three places. So what happens is if this was here it would move 1, 2, 3. So the decimal point will now be here. And in this place, we can just add 0 and 0 and 0 after. Therefore, 0 0.04 times 0 0.2 would equal 0 0.008. Now, I think we're ready to answer some questions. So, Jimmy ate 0 0.26 of his lunch during his maths lesson. However, he was still hungry, so he ate 0 0.76 of his remaining lunch in his lunchbox. How much fruit is left in his lunchbox? So, before we start, I would like to clarify that all of Jimmy's lunch has a value of 1. I'll write this down so we don't forget. All of Jimmy's lunch equals 1. Now, in order to calculate his remaining lunch, we first need to go 1 minus 0. Point. Two, six. Remember what I said about aligning the decimals? In order to do this uh, question, we first have to go 1.00 to 0 0.26. So then we go, and that becomes 9 because we have to carry it over here. And that will be 10 minus 6, which is 4. 9 minus 2, which would be 7. And then 0 minus 0 is 0. So the answer is 0 0.74. Now, however, he was still hungry, so he ate 0 0.76 of his remaining lunch. So now we need to figure out what he further ate. 
that would be 0 0.74 times 0 0.76. So now we need to multiply 0 0.74 by 0 0.76 to find his remaining lunch. 0 0.76 times 0 0.74. Let's firstly do this without noticing the decimal points. That'll be 6 times 4, which is 24. 7 times 4, which will be 28, plus 2, which is 30. And 4 times 0 is 0, plus 3. Next will be 7 times 6, which is 42. Let's get rid of this. 42. 7 times 7, which is 49, plus 4, which is 53. And 4 times 0 is 0, and then we carry the 5, which is 5. So it's 4, 2, 6, 5. Now we need to note that there are two decimal points here and two decimal points here. So we need to adjust the decimal points for these decimals. So the, if the point is here, we move it 1, 2 for the first one, and then another 2 for the next one. So then the answer would be 0 0.562. And now we can write it here. 0 0.5624. Let's quickly erase the working out. So now we know how much of his remaining lunch he ate. In order to figure out how much food is left in his lunchbox, we know after the maths lesson there are 0 0.74. And we need to minus that by 0 0.5624. Remember, when we subtract, we have to line up the points. So in this question, we go 0 0.74 minus 0 0.5624. We can add a 0, 0 after, just for comfortability. And then we just quickly minus. That'll be 3, 9. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 2 is 7. We can't do 3, so we have to go 6. 10 minus 6 is 4, plus 3 is 7. And 6 minus 5 is 1, and 0. So the answer would be C, 0 0.1776. And that is all, guys. Good luck with your decimal questions for the future, and thank you for listening. Also, don't forget to line your decimal points. Bye!